these articles are absolutely terrible, <laughs> but I have to show you it because when you look, hey, what's the fastest web browser out there? You'll flip through this and they typically will be using something called a browser bench speedometer or what, speedometer or whatever it is, this thing. I ran it on my browser, loaded down with a ton of extensions and I got a pretty bad score. Obviously this doesn't look good on Brave, but Honestly, there's no browser in here I'm going to endorse. There's just going to be ones that I kind of talk crap about. And uh, you can choose which is right for you at the end here. Now, before we get started here, this is what Avast shows. This is the entire uh, speedometer range. And then I went and installed Microsoft uh, Edge, Firefox, Chrome, and then I may have tossed in another couple in here and I did it in both Windows and Linux. Uh, so let's get to that and so you understand what's happening with each one of these and which one is the fastest browser. But before we do that, I just wanna say, I don't like each one of these browsers for different reasons. So um, I, I'll lay those out real fast here and uh, we'll talk again at the end about that. Uh, Brave, I don't like for its involvement with a lot of crypto type stuff and uh, some of the, the dodgy history with uh, search redirection to get affiliate links and some other things. Even though I do use Brave as my primary browser, it does have some bad things going for it. Uh, Microsoft Edge is the next one, which I showed right here at 107. This is often known as the fastest browser on the web, but that's actually not true anymore. Uh, back in 2018, this was the case when they first released Chromium. No longer, you'll see here in a minute. But the big thing about Edge is it integrates really tightly with the operating system. So if you ever do any tweaks, disable any telemetry, uh, do anything, you're gonna get this browsers managed by your organization and then it kind of locks down most of the things in Edge and it kind of is a terrible browser because of that, because I do so many modifications. However, if you just leave everything stock and you just leave all uh, the bloatware that comes with Windows on your system that's there. However, I wanted to see what this performed like in Linux where it doesn't have that integration into the operating system, uh, which I'll show here in a second, because I was really curious to see how much of a leg up Edge gets because of Microsoft Windows, uh, which is, Something I was like, oh, maybe that would be a whole video in itself. Spoiler, not as much as you think. Firefox, uh, you know, Firefox's performance has always been a little bit lacking, but I love it because it's pretty much the only independent browser. Everything else I'm showing here, Chrome, Edge, and uh, Brave, they're all Chromium based. So they're basically controlled by Google or not controlled, but based on Google's code or the Chromium code. Uh, but yes, so I always recommend people use Firefox, even though I don't, it's it's not my cup of tea, so to speak. I don't really have anything too negative to say from it. Otherwise, uh, I don't really like its ecosystem that much. It feels a little bit foreign to me because I've always used a Chromium-based browser. Uh, but I don't want to discourage anybody from using Firefox because it is pretty much the only competition to uh, a Google Chromium based browser as these other ones I'm showing are all Chromium based. And then finally, Chrome. And you'll notice it has the highest score in 2022 and it's pretty darn responsive, but this is all just using speedometer. And one of the flaws to just using this test is every website's a little different. Some browsers will be faster on other websites and some browsers will be optimized for certain websites. So if you want to skew these, to whatever you want uh, to, to show you, you can. Uh, but this was the final scores in Windows and we're gonna move to Linux next. Uh, let me just minimize this. Here you go. That is what we got for Windows. And now let's move into the Linux realm things and uh, flip over into it. So here is the Linux desktop. Uh, I went ahead and tossed another one in here called Midori. It's like this bare bones browser. And I was like, what does it do on a speed test? I was expecting it to be the top one. Again, spoiler, no, it's not. All right, so we'll start with uh, old uh, Brave over here, loaded down with all my extensions and all my bloat, uh, double the score compared to Windows. Not that's shocking because uh, obviously Linux is gonna be a lot more lightweight, uh, not so much running in the memory. Uh, and then Firefox, 
190, considerably better, almost double again from the Windows counterpart. Edge, again, really good. Surprisingly, this one came in a little bit lower than what we saw with Firefox. That's the first time I've ever seen Edge come beh behind Firefox, but it's kind of interesting. You'd be thinking it would be double much like the others, but you'd be wrong. And then finally, Chrome at a whopping 234. That's nuts. And then just to kind of throw things in uh, to Midori, which is a bare bones, I think it's actually Chromium-based browser with no extensions, 167, about uh, pretty underperforming. I really expected this to be the best, and it's not. So that was kind of interesting going through these speedometer tests. The final results on your screen right here, Chrome uh, whopping the competition by that metric. But I kind of want to show these. Now, I thought I, I gave every advantage to most of the other browsers on here because I honestly don't want people to use Chrome because it's kind of tied in with Google. But uh, that's the downside to Chrome is you're in the Google ecosystem. But it's also the upside if you're really into Google ecosystem and you want to stay there. By all means, you can use Chrome because it is fast, and I think it is the fastest browser uh, based on every test I've run in 2022. They've done some good optimizations to it. A couple other notables in here that I left off was Vivaldi. Uh, I needed to check them out again. I originally used to use Vivaldi, and I switched to Brave, uh, mainly because of performance-based issues. It was really kind of getting laggy. I had a bad update, and I think since they've fixed all that, I still like Vivaldi. One that some actual tests show is Opera. Don't use Opera. The company behind it has done some very shady practices, especially in the mobile space where they'd sign people up with loans. And uh, it was just a really shady company. Uh, the founder of Opera actually moved on to create Vivaldi, or one of the founders, I should say, moved on to create Vivaldi. So if you like the way Opera looks, probably use Vivaldi uh, as that would be a good alternative. Having said all that, my personal opinion is this. Each one of these browsers kind of suck, and they suck in their own way. If you're looking just for pure speed and the best internet experience, install Google Chrome. Uh, honestly, that is probably the best if you don't care about having a Google account associated with it and all the, that. By all means, Google Chrome will probably win out uh, as of the making of this video, February 2022. However, I don't like Chrome, I don't like Edge, I don't like Firefox, and I ended up settling on Brave, even though obviously in these tests it didn't perform well because it's kind of loaded with some extensions. Uh, however, it probably fares about middle of the pack, uh, much like the rest of these. It's not gonna be uh, light years ahead as it doesn't have a lot of those optimizations you saw with Chrome. So let me know in the comments which browser you use. I know this is a little bit exhausting and uh, Honestly, I really wanted Chrome to not win out on this one as I wasn't a big fan. I was just happy, honestly, it wasn't Edge <laughs> because when it comes to Windows and Edge, I just hate using it because of how integrated it is in the operating system and a lot of the settings get locked down when I start customizing. But uh, with all that said, I will see you all in the next one. A big shout out to all the members that have joined with the join button down below and also ChrisTitus.com members that subscribe over there for my downloads. Thank you guys for supporting me in this channel. Uh, it's very appreciated and I'll see you in the next one.